It's Tung's Oz that you're all here. <laughs> you may feel the candidates don't take you seriously because you're teenagers, but to me, you're the hashtag future. <laughs> you can't say hashtag. I just want to relate to the teens at the Young Voters Forum. Don't try to sound cool. If you try, you just seem nerdy. So no epic fail either? <laughs> you know, maybe we should fire Andrea and hire you as my campaign manager. Well, after all our hard work preparing for today's youth <laughs> forum, I wouldn't blame you. Kiss ass. <laughs> Okay, daily briefing time. What's the press gonna heckle me with today? They may ask you about the oomph chat cheerleading scandal. <laughs> it's this app that sends pictures that disappear in one to ten seconds. And why on earth would anyone want that? To send boob shots? What? That's what the cheerleaders were doing. For money. Did you know about this, Frankie? No. No, it's, it's just a rumor. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it seems crazy. I don't know. Arlene saw some screenshots with some pretty recognizable birthmarks. Also, I quit cheerleading a long time ago. Remember? Yeah, of course I do. Because you're the only one of my kids to get the Hollingsworth work ethic and intelligence. I'll see you at the forum today. You, come with me. You got dad fooled, but not me. Hey, I did work hard on this forum. Hmm? I knew chatting your boobs for money. I've known you for 14 years, Frankie. I know your life, Ace. Okay, I did it once, but then I quit. What do I do? I have you learned nothing from Dad's political maneuvering? You just need a scapegoat. Give them someone to blame. Mm -hmm. But you better figure it out soon, because if you're accused, then that epic fail could tank Dad's whole campaign, and then he'll hashtag hate your guts. Schedules for you girls. Uh, complimentary Hi. water bottles. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. There you go. Hi. Welcome to Degrassi. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Volunteering. All this oomph chat stuff going on, all the joiners are busy being questioned. And plus, meeting all these visiting cheerleaders. <laughs> I like my odds. You like zero? You like cheerleaders? They're pretty. And flexible. And way out of your league. Says the guy who got dumped by a cheerleader this year. He's going everyone out. Because she refused to date you. <laughs> it's not what happened, all right? 20 bucks says I can get a cheerleader's number before you can. Whoa, it can't just be any cheerleader. You could just pick off the weakest antelope in the herd. Too easy. What about that ice queen? Yes. First one to get a number wins. Let's make it interesting. The loser has to be a cheerleader. He has to dress up, do a cheer in front of the visiting cheerleaders. You mean the tiny skirt, the little top, mm -hmm. and the bow? Are you worried it's gonna <laughs> clash with your pointy red hair? No, because you'll never find out. We'll see about that. May the best man win. All right. Police here because of that oomph chat thing? To investigate the cheerleaders. I thought you'd be happy. They were gonna get their just desserts. Yeah, I guess I'm just nervous about the forum today. My dad's never put me in charge of something so big. You can do anything. I thought we'd be wading into the wild world of liquids today, but having students pulled out for questioning will be too disruptive. We'll have a work period instead. Were you guys really interrogated? For an hour. I played dumb. I think it worked, but I don't know how long I can keep it up. They want to boot us from regionals. You deserve way worse. We're sorry we let Zoe bully you. I didn't know what else to do. Well, I do. We get Zoe to admit she came up with Degrassi nudes and made us all do it. You want us to turn on Zoe? You'd rather we all go down? We just need to keep quiet. Zoe says there's no way anyone but us has any real proof. What about the blackmailer? 
Zoe says the system was airtight. What if she's wrong? How long do you think he'll get grounded for selling naked pictures? You can't even count that high. If Zoe doesn't take the blame, we all go down. Girls from our children's school are sending naked pictures for money, and, and we... We hear about it on the news? Well, the uh, the news does tend to sensationalize these things. I heard it was the cheerleaders, and yet you're still letting them compete in regionals. Uh, yeah, Claire, uh, you had some thoughts on this, right? Um, care to jump in here? Uh, my VP of uh, Student Council, Claire Edwards. I think these girls are innocent until proven guilty. If we shut down every team because of every rumor, then we would have none of those banners hanging in the gym. But it was most likely someone from Degrassi. Is this school safe for our daughters anymore? Safe as any. And I assure you that there are lots of positive leadership opportunities for young women at this school. I found mine in student council. And didn't you wind up pregnant? <clears throat> I... Hey, didn't see you there. Right. You just dance randomly at school. Well, what can I say? It makes me happy. You should join me. But, oh, look at the time. I got to be somewhere. Why don't you give me your number and we can do some random dancing at a later date? I don't make a habit of giving my number to strange guys. Sorry. <sighs> All right. That What was that? I am so sorry. It's nothing. Let me help. Shouldn't you be getting ready for regionals? At least let me treat it so the stain won't set. Wow. That's so nice of you. Are you freaking kidding me? Someone has to take the blame, Zoe. So you want me to march to Simpson's office and tell him I ran Degrassi nudes all by myself? Well, if you fess up, the rest of us may still even get a chance to compete. Yeah. So you're all on board for this one person takes all the blame idea? Okay. I hope you're happy. How did that mom know about my pregnancy? Drew used to date Becky. That was Becky's mom. I guess they're close. Or she heard the rumors. What rumors? About the student council VP that got knocked up by her president at a school event. Don't forget that part. OK, what? Drew's like the hottest guy in school. It's big time gossip. What am I going to do? I thought I could make it to graduation without people knowing. Can't stand people looking at me like I'm some trashy teen mom like they did when you were pregnant. Ouch. Claire, a moment, please. If you need us, we'll be in the student council room. I am so sorry about that meeting. But I have to ask, how does homeschooling work? Claire, you're one of my best students. You excel in the school environment. I know, but I can't stand people gawking at me because I'm pregnant. I am pregnant, by the way. It's going to be OK. How can you say that? My wife was a teen mom. At Degrassi, actually. How did she avoid all the rumors? Oh, she didn't. You can't. Great. But she held her head high. She graduated high school. She has a solid career as a hairdresser. And she even married a really hot guy. It's me. Yeah. You can be a teen mom and still have a great life. You just have to be willing to go for what you want, despite what other people might think of you. Please tell me you have the name tags for the young voters for him. God, I love your smile, which is why I hate to have to show you this. Face range? Posted a few minutes ago? It says I started the whole thing, made girls do it, and took the money. No one's going to believe it. And what if they do? What if my dad sees this? You don't think it was the blackmailer, do you? No, definitely not. He already posted that thing about the cheerleaders. Yeah, but it wasn't him. How can you be so sure? You're the blackmailer. 
I was only trying to help. Help? Without you, no one would have known it was them. No one could have blamed me. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Look, I, was, I saw how sad you were after losing cheerleading. I wanted to make Zoe quit so you could take her spot. How could you do this to me? I did it for you. Okay, I didn't make that face rage page. It was obviously Zoe. Still, none of this would have happened if you hadn't meddled. You met at the wrong person. I was trying to fix things. With vigilante justice? It's just called justice, Franks. The world's unfair sometimes. That's why there's superheroes. No, you are not a superhero. You are a dumb boy who did a dumb thing, and now my dad is going to hate me forever. I have to get this down before anyone sees it. OK, well, then let me help you. No. You've already done enough. I'm so glad you're doing this. I would have been so lost. I always carry a stain kit. For competitions, my girls have to look perfect. There, all set. I should get back to my team. Wait, before you go, did I get a selfie with my hero? Perfect. May I have your number? I'll send it to you. May I? Such a gentleman. I'm surprised the guys are so nice here. Well, why wouldn't we be? Because all your girls are insane. Well, I wouldn't say all of I them. I mean, look at your cheerleaders. Sending nudes for money? That kind of makes them prostitutes. That hasn't been proven yet. I guess not. But we've all heard about their captain. What, Zoe? Yeah, that girl from that teen show who was all over the news for those drunken videos. Hey, she was assaulted. You don't know what she's been through. I'm sorry, are you into her or something? Because I kind of thought we were hitting it off. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you didn't make this? Take it down now. I had this under control until you tried to make me your scapegoat. But I didn't do this. We all did it. Don't play Little Miss Innocent just because you don't want Daddy to find out. I will tell everyone it was you. And I'll point them to that face range page that says how mad you were at me for kicking you off the team. And outlines how you orchestrated the whole thing to make me look bad. The other girls will side with me. The other girls who've just been handed a get-out-of-jail-free card? How could you do this to me after what you went through this year? Do you know what happens if people find out I did this? All that stuff gets dragged out again. In the halls, the press. You know what'll happen to you? Nothing. Your rich daddy will bail you out and make it go away. Don't act like you know my family. This isn't fair. Life isn't fair, sweetie. Now if you'll just move aside, I have a regional championship to win. my cut and die this morning, Barb? Hubby's got a meeting, so I gotta get the kids to daycare. Great, thank you. <laughs> Mister, where are your pants? You gotta have some pants for school. Can you find him some pants, Mr. Simpson? Now, we've been married for five years, Claire Bear. Call me Archie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love your bacon. I love your bacon. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I know. Look, I'm late already. I gotta go. You are the best. Give me a kiss. Mm. But to me, you are the future. So thank you. Thank you. Um, you know what? I also want to give a big thank you to my darling daughter, Francesca, because she helped organize this event. So before I take any of your questions... I... Isn't there someone you can complain to in face range to get this taken down? A formal request takes a few days. Can't you just do some hackery thing? There is a DDoS hack, but it's way beyond my capability. Okay, just give me the list of things we can do. Option one, you tell Dad before he finds out from somebody else. That's it? I can't. It'll screw up his election. It'll disown me. I have a question. How can you control the city if you can't control your kids? I assume there's some news brief about my son that I, uh, that I missed. Not Miles. Your daughter's been unmasked as the oomph chat cheerleading madam. And now you have zero options. Frankie, Frankie, can we ask you some questions, please? 
Yeah, but before that, she's practically begging me to take her number. And you didn't because she said mean things about the cheerleaders? So you lost the bet on purpose? I lost the bet on principle. Because you have a thing for Zoe. What? No, I, what does it matter why I lost the bet? Nobody won. I wouldn't say nobody. How'd you do that? After you jilted her, she would have given her number out to anyone who gave her a little bit of positive attention. Wait, you're gay? I had no idea. Who says I'm gay? Just want to see these idiots in short skirts. <laughs> Get stretching, boys. Want to see some high kicks. I need to discuss education with you. We already talked about this. Dealing with rumors can't be easy, so you can stay home whenever you need. Not high school for next year. Claire. I don't want to marry Principal Simpson. <laughs> what are you talking about? It was a dream about my future, and it was awful. I can't put university off. I think you're underestimating how much work a baby is. But a baby won't be here until after Christmas. And I'm not talking about Columbia. I was thinking Ryerson for journalism. My friends can babysit. I won't take on more than I can handle. We'd be spreading ourselves pretty thin. But I have to try. I don't want my son thinking that I gave up at the first challenge I faced. I want him to think that I did my best despite the challenges, despite what people thought of me. OK. And I guess we should talk about how we'd manage the childcare. Really? As long as we can do it while we stretch. Oh, I'm getting right behind her. <laughs> OK, yeah. I am so sorry I didn't do what they're saying. OK, we'll figure it out, OK? The press is going to have a field day with this. Three days left in the campaign, there goes any chance we had to control the narrative. At least I can't go after my children like this. I, we should sue for defamation to show the world what bullies they are. Yes, but we'd have to be 100% certain that Frankie wasn't involved. Obviously you weren't, right? No. I mean, not really. I did oom chat. Naked. For money. It's just once, I swear. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry, the whole team was doing it. The whole team was doing okay, it. Miles, oh, this isn't the time to get angry. We we have to deal with this. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, um, it's probably best that she makes a, a statement to the press while they're still here. I have to tell them we're suing? You have to take responsibility. For my one oomph chat? For everything. You want me to lie? Any denial extends the story. We don't have that kind of time. Just go out there. Say you made a mistake and say you're sorry. We'll position you as the good father who's dealing with it, and hopefully they bury this story before the polls open on Monday. Dad, that's not fair. That's life, Frankie. You be a good daughter. You make the statement. We'll give you a few minutes to collect yourself. I would never make fun of you. Then I guess you're the only person in the world. I don't care what these other people think, OK? I know you're a good person. Why are you being so nice? I'm always this nice. If you hadn't stopped talking to me, you would know that. OK. Still got my number? Yeah. If I texted it, could I maybe come watch you compete tomorrow? Only if you wear that. All right, come on, let's see this. Give me a G. Give me an R. Give me an A. Give me a C. Give me an E. What's that spell? Where is she? 
I'm worried we're about to lose the press corps. Have you seen your sister? Is she out front? No. Why? What's going on? A family crisis. It's a prize for once you're not responsible. She's not in her room. Is she? Sorry I freaked out on you. You were right. The world is unfair. So what do you want to do? I want justice. I want to be superheroes. I want to make Zoe pay.